Thanks for joining me again this morning for a time of daily devotions in about three minutes when we can share God's word together to, together to get our, our day started right. Uh, we'll read from Luke 19, 11 from the NIV version. And the title is Your Will Be Done. Here's what it says. He was near Jerusalem and the people thought that the kingdom of God was going to appear at once. When God starts to lead, it's easy to get out ahead of him. The idea of his will can become the object of your hopes. In other words, you can begin to love your expectations of God's will to the point that you stop following him to see where his will actually takes you. The disciples often got ahead of things, sometimes missing Jesus' will spectacularly. When Jesus was headed to Jerusalem, a Samaritan village refused to receive him. James and John wanted to call down fire on them, but Jesus said, You do not know what manner of spirit you are of. For the Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. We see that in Luke 9, 56, uh, 55 to 56. Talk about being on the wrong page. Clearly, they hadn't been paying attention to Christ and came up with a plan pretty much opposite to his. You can avoid the mindset by staying in step with God's unfolding will for your life. There's so many times when we get a word from his, his Bible, we get instruction from our pastor, we get a prophetic word, maybe God sends one of his servants to minister to our lives, and it's easy not to follow that will. The reason that the Lord might minister to you through your pastor or through the word when you're reading it and studying your, your Bible or maybe through some one of his servants, a, a prophet or something like that, is because there's something in your life that probably needs paying attention to. There's something in your life that needs adjusting. And if you make the adjustment, there's blessings to come. But if you don't make the adjustment, sometimes you have to stay in, in that time of waiting, in that, in that time of lack a little bit longer. So what's very, very important is that we realize we need to fully surrender to God and have his will done in our lives. That when sometimes you're reading the word and something sticks out to you and you, you felt led that you felt convicted by a sermon that was preached on Sunday or maybe your pastor gave you some advice and you didn't like the advice, it may just well be for, for, for your own good. It may be for your own good and they're giving you good advice and you don't want to do it because it seems difficult or it seems hard. But to truly have God's will flow in our lives means surrendering all to him and giving it back to him. And if we do that, then he will fulfill all of the desires of our heart and give us all of the things beyond what we can even conceive or imagine. So guys, today, give it all to God, surrender all to him and let his will be done in your life. Has, have an awesome day today and God bless you. Take care.